Silverstone mods. They are huge business right now. This idea of taking an aging sports car and then updating it with modern engineering, new materials, it's brought us living legends like the Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer, the brilliant Alpha Holix GT AR, and those gorgeous E-types from Eagle. But what if you fancy a resto mod, but instead of a classic coupe from the 60s, you fancy something that's a child of the 1990s? Well, that brings me neatly to this the most exquisite expression of a Subaru Impreza ever, the ProDrive P25. The name ProDrive should be familiar to you. Based in Oxfordshire, England, ProDrive's been in the business of designing and building championship winning racing cars for almost 40 years. Over the decades, it's seen success in touring cars, endurance racing, including Le Mans, but it's most fondly associated with Subaru and the World Rally Championship. All three of Subaru's WRC titles to date were masterminded by ProDrive, driven by the likes of Colin McRae, Richard Burns, and Petter Solberg. True rally royalty all engraved into motorsport legend behind the wheel of a blue and yellow Impreza. In 1998, Subaru wanted to capitalize on its rallying success and celebrate 40 years in the car business. So it came up with a special edition of the Impreza with a two-door homologated body shell. The Boxer engine was bored out to 2.2 liters, pumping out a claimed 276 brake horsepower to all four wheels though in reality, it actually had a bit more power than that. The flared bodywork, 80 millimeters wider than a standard Impreza, came from the rally car. You got Ibach springs, Bilstein dampers, bespoke wheels, and a new body kit. The result was the iconic Impreza 22B, probably one of the greatest Subarus ever made. So why didn't everyone rush out and buy one of these designer label Scoobies? Well, the truth is they tried to. Subaru only built the car for five months, signing off just 400 examples only to be sold in Japan. The whole lot was snapped up in 24 hours. Demand from around the world was so loud and relentless, however, Subaru built 24 more. Three prototypes given to members of the rally team, five for Australia and 16 coming right here to the UK. So in Impreza circles, the 22B is a bit of a unicorn. And that means if you want one today, at auction, you'll find yourself paying upwards of $300,000 or well beyond a quarter of a million pounds. Not bad for a little Japanese coupe that was sold for under 40,000 quid when it was new. So the 22B was rare, special and very, very sought after. And given it's now 25 years since ProDrive and Subaru first homologated a three-door wide body Impreza body shell for the World Rally Championship, well, it's perfect timing, isn't it? Build 25 homages to the best of Subaru, the best of ProDrive, and give us, well, the ultimate road-going rally car. Okay, come on, let's go and get tucked into the spec of this thing. Now, the first thing you need to know about the P25 is that it's very, very light because it's made of, um, of car... No, actually, the first thing you need to know about this car is that it costs £460,000 plus tax, which means, well, if you're buying one in the UK, £552,000. This is well over a half million pound Subaru Impreza. And for me, that's just a real shame. The whole reason that a generation fell in love with these JDM rally car heroes was that, well, you saw them on the telly winning a rally and you thought, yeah, that's affordable, that's attainable, I might have one of those. I might head out to a B road after I've tuned it up, modified it, made it louder. I might go and use it to beat up a Porsche 911 Turbo or Ferrari 360. I mean, I know that you're paying for race team expertise here and yeah, when we get tucked into the spec, you'll see where the money's been spent, but it's just a bit of a shame that you need to pay such big money to get one of these. Not that that has stopped it, of course, from selling out immediately. So where was I? Yes, the, uh, the weight or the lack of. The shell of the P25, so that's still metal, but pretty much everything else you can see except the doors is carbon fiber. 
and that means that especially when you add in nerdy weight saving details like a lithium ion battery this car still with four wheel drive weighs about 1200 kilos now that's a bit less than a toyota gr86 but it has twice the power so um yeah let's see what's making that power shall we Okay, meet the beast. Of course, it had to still be a flat four turbocharged boxer engine in the classic Subaru style, but this one's been bored out. It's now 2.5 liters, and yeah, the outputs are sounding pretty huge. They're still tinkering with it, but it's gonna be over 400 horsepower and 442 pounds feet of torque. I mean, in such a light car, it's gonna absolutely fly really been to town on the internals too. It's got new rods, new pistons, new valve train, the exhaust that's fashioned from Inconel, titanium and stainless steel that comes from Akrapovic. And up front, there's an absolute whopper of a Garrett rally spec turbocharger. Yeah, I know we've said it's a lot of money, but I think for the 25 lucky people who are getting one of these, what lives under this bonnet is worth the price of entry alone. The top speed's limited, sensibly, to 150 miles an hour. And uh, should one of the P25's lucky owners decide to get up one morning and boot it in a straight line, this will get them from 0 to 62 miles an hour in under three and a half seconds. Oh, and um, while I'm down here at the front, look at this. This is, so far as I can see, the only Subaru badge on the car. At the back on the bootlet, it's actually going to say Pro Drive P25 when it's finished, but there are no Subaru words or logos anywhere except for this one. Seems a bit strange, really, doesn't it? Because, um, well, Subaru's kind of forgotten all about its rallying heritage, so um, you might as well let Pro Driver take over for a bit. Although, speaking of classic Subaru heritage, you might be wondering why these 19 inch rims aren't painted gold. I mean, that is the classic Subaru livery, isn't it? Blue paintwork, big bonnet scoop, big wing, and gold rims. ProDrive said that they went with this more subtle grey because they wanted their car to have more of its own identity and not look like, well, someone's just regular tuned Subaru. And that's all very honourable, very tasteful, but um, no, I'm sorry, if it's my half million pounds, I would like them painted gold, please. The tyres are specifically chosen to work with the adjustable Bilstein dampers and are wrapped around 19-inch rims. The brakes are from AP Racing and are a massive 380 millimetres across up front. You can also adjust how much power arrives at each axle by tweaking the active centre diff and there are limited slip differentials front and rear. Now in here, there's something that you might not like. Have you spotted it? Yeah, you do not get a manual gearbox. I know, I know, it would have fitted the 90s vibe, but what you have to remember is this is a serious, purebred road-going rally car from a proper race team. So they're less bothered about analog thrills and more just about raw speed. And that is where this comes in. You get a six-speed sequential gearbox with a proper rally spec single paddle shifter. So pull up for your upshifts, you push down for your downshifts and use of the clutch is optional, which, well, it makes this a properly serious bit of kit. And it also allows for some proper party tricks, really, with this fantastic bank of buttons down here. You've got something called boost, you've got anti-lag, I bet that sounds outrageous. And then there's the button for the launch control. And this is proper rally stuff. You see, ProDrive worked out that normally, once you come off the brake and you launch the car, it's asking for the first upshift about 0.8 of a second later. And even the best drivers sometimes just weren't reacting quickly enough. So they slammed into the rev limiter and you lost time. So they've come up with a system that performs the first two upshifts for you. You come off the brake and immediately the computer sorts you out and takes you through first, through second, and into third without you having to pull the paddle. That just shows how much motorsport nous has gone into this thing. I really like the treatment in here as well because you've got these great big slabs of Alcantara, you've got leather bolsters, lovely blue stitching and huge slabs of carbon fiber on the doors. But ultimately it doesn't feel like some kind of Singer-esque jewel. It's not a luxury boudoir. I mean, 
Look at all these vents and heater controls. It still feels ultimately like a 90 Subaru. It feels tiny in here as well. Um, but there's been some cool updates. You've got a proper screen behind the steering wheel with loads of data on there. This extra screen down here, that'll give you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And there is actually an audio system that they're tuning to work with the acoustics of this car. I love the pedal box, the way it raises your feet. So you've got this proper motorsport driving position, the small steering wheel, that just feels fabulous. These seats are holding me just right. And also in here, other nerdy stuff. You can tweak your engine map, you can tweak your anti-lag, you can check your stage times or your lap times if you're on a racetrack. And then there's this. This is a proper hydraulic handbrake and when you rip it, it disconnects the center differential so you don't rip out your rear drive shafts. I mean, that is a feature that only serious speed merchants would have thought of. Oh, and if you want to save a little bit more weight, Here's a cheeky one for you. You can ask ProDrive nicely and they will rip out the back seats and replace them with a kind of carpet shelf, a proper roll cage and fit to those proper racing harnesses. Should save you in the region of about 10 kilograms. So um, yeah, make sure you're ticking that box on the options list if you don't need this for the school run. Ultimately, that's the sort of thing that makes me hope that the 25 millionaires who are getting a P25, well, they actually get out there and bloody well use it. This is, well, it's the ultimate road-going Subaru Impreza, but more than that, it's not just an homage to one of the greatest partnerships ever in motorsport, but it's an homage to some of motorsport's most missed drivers. If you look around in the background, some of the cars that you can see in this fantastic workshop all of them became legends, not because of how they looked or how they sounded, but because of how they performed when they were driven flat out. And that is what this thing really deserves.